everybody wants to know how much medical assistants make and I'm so happy to be making this video because I literally just cashed my check. So as a medical assistant, I made five, six, seven, eight. I found you. channel if you guys are new my name is Shay Marie baby welcome to the party please make sure everybody is liking commenting and subscribing don't forget to turn your post notification bells on so you can be notified every single time that I upload as you guys can see by the title this video is going to be telling you guys how much you will be getting paid as a medical assistant so let's jump right on in so first and foremost I want to say as a medical assistant they're going to be different factors that determine how much you will be getting paid every medical assistant is not getting paid the same so just because i could be making 30 dollars an hour don't mean that you will be making 30 dollars an hour just because shirley is making minimum wage it doesn't mean that you're going to be making minimum wage so many things factor in to your pay as a medical assistant if you are a medical assistant coming in fresh with no experience, no certifications, you could expect to make minimum wage. I think that's fair. Like you have no experience, you have no certifications, so minimum wage is best. Obviously, you know, maybe in like a couple months after doing your job, you could ask to make more, but just being fair to others. It is a lot, it is a lot of work, but you're coming in with no experience and you're also coming in with no certifications. So I personally feel like minimum wage is acceptable for, you know, people with no experience or certifications. As a medical assistant coming in with experience, but no certifications, you could be expected. It depends on how long um, you've been working as a medical assistant for one and what exactly are you experienced in because you could be experienced with just charting you could be experienced with just vital signs you know it really does depend on what your experience is um that should determine your pay but like i said with just minimal experience and no certifications maybe a dollar to more than minimum wage i know to some it's like a dollar so it really does depend like what is your experience that you would say like are you certified i mean you're not certified but are you experienced with everything like bringing patients in taking vitals performing all tests not just one one or two different tests like what testing are you familiar with can you do ekgs can you draw blood like it really does depend on what your experience is if you are a medical assistant with experience and certifications you could expect to be making top dollar okay like especially if you are more than three years experienced you know how to do every single not every single test but like majority of the testings because obviously depending on what specialty you work in you may not know how to do every single test but i know personally my school had equipped us like you needed to learn damn near every single testing like you were learning to draw blood you were learning to do ekgs you were learning different surgical procedures like it depends on what you are experienced in again but like i said if you have experience for more than three years and you do have your certifications like you're a certified medical assistant or a registered medical assistant um you are a cpr or bls certified you deserve anywhere five dollars above minimum wage okay like i know it depends on your state so if minimum wage in your state is twenty dollars you and you have more than three years of experience with all of your certifications you could ask to make twenty five dollars per hour okay again like i said it also does depend on what you are experienced in there's some people with that i personally know um like some of the older people at my job, they have no certifications, but they've been a medical assistant for five plus years. So they know a lot, right? They've been trained at the job to do pretty much everything that we do at that specific job. But again, they have no certifications, but they make more than I do. Like it, it, it is what it is. So depending on where you're working, sometimes they have 
first class medical assistants, second class medical assistants, and then senior class medical assistant. So a senior class medical assistant would be someone who's been working, like I said, over three to four years um, with or without certification, but they know every single thing. Like they could tell you what the baby's pulse is supposed to be, the heart rate is supposed to be of a adult, an elderly patient. Like they could assist with all procedures or minor surgical procedures or even big surgical procedures. They can perform EKGs, they can do all phlebotomy. Those are the medical assistants that are making top dollar. So for someone that's coming in with no experience and kind of upset or disappointed in their pay, you have to understand like it really does depend on where you're working. So I know that there are different specialties that start off with, you know, three to four dollars more than minimum wage just because of that specialty. Like you're working at a, at a surgical, a plastic surgeon office. It doesn't matter, you know, whatever the surgery is, depending on where you're working, you have to be trained to know certain things. You have to remember certain things. So obviously you're gonna be paid a little bit more. Now, me being a medical assistant at my specific job, like y'all have seen some of my videos. If you have, you have to know both front desk and clinical. So right there, that's already a plus. You know what I mean? Like you could do receptionist and could also do clinical. That's already a dollar or two more than minimum wage. Okay, you have your certifications. What certifications do you have? Okay, that's an extra dollar or two. So now you're already four to five dollars above minimum wage. Um, okay, you guys, so I have my phone and let's get into some facts. So the average median hourly wage for medical assistance is $20 per hour. That sounds about right for my state personally. Again, it does depend on your state, but like I said, this is okay. We get into some facts. So 10% of medical assistants are making $33,500 a year, right? That's about $645 a week, okay? Depending on your state, that may be good, but I'm in New York. That's not going to cut it. But again, for somebody with no experience, especially, especially an 18 year old, an 18 year old that's, um, you know, living with their parents, don't really have any bills. That's okay. That's definitely not bad for an 18 year old. 25% of medical assistants are making $36,780 a year. That's about $707 a week which is still not bad, but it's not great. So, you know, the median average is 42,000 a year. That's not that bad, okay? Because again, you don't need college to become a medical assistant. So imagine somebody that's not going to college, just turn 18 or 19 and boom, you know, they're working as a medical assistant. That's about $807 a week, okay? There's four weeks and a month, you guys. So all of these numbers that I'm naming, um, I'm saying, just multiply that by four, and that's your grand total for the month. 75% of medical assistants are making $47,220 a year. That's $908 a week. That's not bad, you guys. That's not bad. That's almost $4,000 a month, which is, it's going to sound crazy if your rent is almost $4,000 a month, but <laughs> that's not that bad, okay? 90% of medical assistants are making $56,480 a year. That's almost $4,500 a month, you guys. It's $1,086 a week. So that's pretty much almost $4,500 a month, which is still not that bad, but that's for 90% of medical assistants. Now, again, for those of you coming in with like no experience, coming into minimum wage, you could, you could expect to be in that 10%, okay? For those of us that have experience and who has been in the game a little longer, you're looking at that 90%. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video helped you guys a little bit more on understanding how much you will be making or you could be making as a medical assistant. Please don't forget to like and comment on this video and definitely don't forget to subscribe. 
please turn your post notification bells on so you can be notified every single time that I upload. And go watch my last couple videos. I don't know what's been going on and why y'all haven't been watching, but go watch my last couple videos, okay? And I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye. I found